All right, there we go. Oh, connect. There we go. Microphone, microphone, microphone. Oh, right. What's going on, folks? We're looking at a one person developed game called Dern. Uh, this kind of gives me almost Dex vibes when I first saw this and the gameplay for it. So, for me, uh, being a big fan of the Dex and the, the two point, I would consider more a 2.5D kind of game. Um, this definitely caught my interest. And it does have like kind of like this gives it that cyberpunky looking vibe that I always love. So uh, let's look at into this and see what we got uh, options. Uh, resolution. twenty by 1080 full screen borderless. Nice on the selection for FPS. There is a lot of choice for this for a 2.5D side D. 2.5D <laughs> scroll a side scrolling game so we'll exit out of that and we'll click play i'm sure to selden naid the near future is in the yard humanity is just beginning to make technological breakthroughs and a fields of robotics and nanoparticles but at the same time many people suffer from lawlessness and poverty <laughs> Our ancestors sold the that, future that different. Microsoft Bob um, voice. I don't know how I feel about 
There is a lot of unknown and incomprehensible Makes sense. In our world. What am I going to say? It doesn't. But it was even more I how unusual I and it. scary for the inhabitants of the city of Corrupt City. Every night witnessed a terrible rumble and radiance from a huge industrial plant where scientists were developing new technologies for military purposes. This is what the locals say. But what is actually hiding and lurking within the walls of an unusual plant? We can only guess. It was an ordinary day when, due to the series of unsuccessful experiments by scientists, an I earthquake like the, the was treated under the, the complex. As a result, the all the inhabitants one. of the city were agitated. The plants exploded and splashed toxic fallout for kilometers around it. The shake was followed by a lull for five minutes, and then the whole sky was covered with clouds, which were so thick that they did not let in the slightest sunlight. The feeling that a world ceased to exist did not leave the inhabitants until the silence was replaced by strange sounds. They were monsters, creatures of hell itself, capable of infecting civilians, who eventually turn into the same unknown creatures. In connection with these terrible events, the military sent a battalion of soldiers to the city to completely cart on off the city and rescue the ruling Iliad. But one of the soldiers did not want to put up with the order, watching people die, and leaves the military base forever being branded a traitor. His path begins on the street of the poor. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so E sits things down. Close the trash not your Very violent. Um, I kind of like like the the retrograde. Uh, look what they're going for on the characters i think that's kind of cool like that uh old film look almost uh that reminds me of uh alien isolation
Okay. Tab. Close. Um, like I said, I do like the aesthetic. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Yep. So this is a little bit of kind of everything, to be brutally honest. At least from the aesthetics, anyway. So the particle effects are nice. Uh... This is this like a safe spot? Okay. Oh, it's not. Okay, so quest givers. Boy, the atomic water basically coffee, milk, liquor, beer. Cool. Okay. And we'll go this way. So the controls, for the most part, are fairly smooth. Um, there's not a lot of delay. There's a little bit of, like... I guess the only way to kind of explain it is there's a little bit of weight to them. Oh, low health. People have stolen your consumables into their apartments. Okay. So this definitely does remind me a lot of Dex. Um, I would say more 32-bit, not so much 16-bit. The graphics just tend to be cleaner um, and stuff. Uh, there's more of a 3D element to these.
I killed him, he killed me. Awesome. Hotel. Any news? So the aesthetic of this is like really, actually really good for a one person developed game. I'm not going to lie. So graphically... I'm going to probably, I can give this probably like a, just because of the design, I'd probably say like a 7.5. Um, some things I'm not a big fan of, but that, that's, again, it's just personal taste when it comes to graphics. Uh, sound, the music's fine, the sound effects are fine. Um, the, the, the gun sounds could use a little more, I guess, oomph it is probably the best way to explain it. Uh, music's fine. The I haven't gotten into any of the voice acting besides the robotic voice acting for the first cutscene, which I get. And from a sentimental point of view, it was like as far as like um, atmosphere and that kind of stuff, you know, very robotic kind of world. It works, but it sounds like a possessed speaking spell is probably the best way I can really kind of describe that. Uh, as far as the controls. Um, they're, they're actually quite tight. Uh, your character moves fast, but not heavy. Removals. I don't have resources. Clothes, iron bar, leather.
So like right here, like I like this aesthetic that they went with. Okay, so this becomes more 3D-ish, like... All right, so uh, this is just a quick look at this game. So Stern, final for final first impressions. Uh, great game uh, for one person developed team. Sound for the most part is pretty good, other than the speaking spell uh, during the cut, <laughs> intro cutscene. Uh, music's appropriate uh, aesthetically. It looks like a mix of cyberpunk and horror, which is an interesting take. Um, I would consider this more 2.5D, uh, just because you can see some of the 3D elements and some of the design and stuff, and the the character models and the like, the pipes and that stick out from the the wall and stuff. Uh, weapons work, controls are fairly straightforward, a little weighty, probably a little too floaty for my my personal liking, but uh, I definitely get what they're going for. I mean, you're wearing a big cyber suit basically, so it makes sense. Uh, so for me. I would give this probably as a one person develop like how do you rate a one person developed game like is it a solid game like is the gameplay good is like I would say it's probably average around 7 like it's not horrible it's not great uh they do a lot of interesting things uh, again this is like a 20 minute first impression so Will I probably continue to play it? Yeah, I'll probably go through more of it. So uh, I want to see what this developer does with it, like support-wise and stuff, though. That's really where kind of I, how I see games is like how does the developer support it in the long term? So there's your quick rundown and first impressions of Stern.